Hello there! In this video, we are going to explore different Google Chrome extensions for 2020, a must-have for all educators or teachers. If you want to know more, then keep watching. In this video, we are going to explore Google Chrome extension and a certified teacher must have for the virtual classroom. Let's try to see the different Google Chrome extensions. Beginning with custom cursor for Chrome. Are you familiar with this icon? That's Dualess. This extension is for Bitmoji. How about this? This is Web Paint. This icon is for one-click translate. And this one is save to Google Drive. And this extension is Colorzilla. One of my personal favorite. This is Screencastify. We also have awesome screenshot and screen recorder. Lastly, we have Extensity. Additional extension is Equatio. So these are the different Google Chrome extensions that I believe will be very useful in your virtual classroom. By the way, for Equatio, if you want to learn more about this extension, then you can watch our video related to that. You can see that in our description below. So how do we download Google Chrome extensions? So the first thing that you need to do is to visit your Google Chrome browser and type in the search bar the name of your Google Chrome extension. Say, for example, custom cursor for Chrome and press enter. We will see here in the results, custom cursor for Chrome, click on that. And you will have your Chrome web store. You also have your add to Chrome, click on this button and add extension. Once successfully installed, you will see the icon of custom cursor at the upper right corner of your web browser, like this. And I'll close this. Same procedure applies to the rest of the Google Chrome extensions. You may try it now. If you haven't seen the icon for custom cursor at the upper right of your browser, then you need to click on this icon for extensions. Click on that and make sure that you already pinned custom cursor for Chrome. Let's click on this icon. And we can see a lot of designs and collections starting with cartoons, colors, starter, and a lot more. If you want to see other designs, you can click on more cursor and it will open a new tab like this. You will see here, wow, wonderful designs. If you want to add this cursor, for example, let's say Galaxy Flask, cursor, you can click on add like this, and it will be successfully installed into your cursor pack starter. Let's click again on the icon to check if we have successfully installed that cursor. It's right here, your Galaxy Flask starter. Let's click on that to check. Wow, very nice. But I'll change that to my favorite icon or my favorite custom cursor. That is this one. Very nice. Let's click again on the icon. You can click on this to resize to have the smallest size of your custom cursor or even the biggest or maximum size like this. Why do you need something like this in your virtual classroom? Every time you guide your students, they need to see your cursor to be like this, as clear as this. And at the same time, it will also grab their attention to focus on your lesson. If you're pointing at this, then they can, see, they can see that clearly in their screens. So you can customize the size into your desired size. You can also change that to the default cursor by clicking on this one. It will go back. I want again to click on my favorite cursor, this one. And this is my favorite size so that my students can, can clearly see what I'm pointing out. The next extension is Bitmoji. Since I was able to add it to my Chrome, that's why you can see the icon right here. Let me click on Bitmoji's icon. By the way, before this, 
I already have downloaded Bitmoji as my application in my mobile phone and was able to customize my avatar there. Now, that's why you can see here, I have already my avatar in my Bitmoji account. Now, if I will search here the word hello, it will reveal a lot of avatars saying hello friend, hello, and a lot more. So allow me to choose one. Let's say I like this picture or I like this Bitmoji. I will right click and I can copy that image or save that image and paste it to another file. Next on the list of our extension is Web Paint. I already have it in my Chrome. That's why you see it here, Web Paint. Let's click on Web Paint icon and you see these options and tools. So what does it mean when you have Web Paint? In Web Paint, for the Google Chrome browser, you can write there. You can simply use the tools and write or draw or type there. So what I mean by that, for example, if you're a teacher and you're showing your screen or you're sharing your screen to your students and you want to emphasize something and you want to type on that screen. So to do that, you can use the Web Paint tool or Web Paint extension. Allow me to use this type tool and let me change the color to red and the size to 100 just by moving this to 100. I already have it there. I can even move the tools to the left and to the right like that. Now, I will click here and let's say I want them to visit um, a site. Let's say go to Google Classroom or go to your drive. So to go there, you need to type in the URL drive.google.com like that. If you want to erase, you just need to click on this brush to erase all. If you want to draw a rectangle, for example, you want to emphasize that you need to write inside the search bar and they do not know yet where is the search bar. Just an example, you can use here the rectangle tool and use the red color for emphasis and even have a bigger size like 100%. Like we will click and drag to draw our rectangle like this to emphasize that we are referring to that part of our web browser. So if you want to erase, you can use this tool or you can erase all by clicking this. If you want to exit, then you can click on this to quit the application or to quit the extension. This time, we will explore this icon right here for one-click translate. Like that. You will see that when you click on that icon. What does it mean when you use this extension? For example, you're researching on something and let's just say a Japanese sentence. Or... Along the way, you're able to, to see or to read words in Japanese or other languages, Chinese, French, and etc. Then you can easily translate those words just by using that extension. So how? You need to highlight the word. Let's say I'll highlight this, Japanese characters, and I will right-click. You have here already the option to translate text into text with that icon for one-click translate. Let's click on that, and it will open this one. There's already the connection between, between this icon to Google Translate. And that means it's yes. Very good. That's correct. Wonderful. Now, let me try other languages. Let's say Chinese sentences. Click on that. Let's say these characters. These are all Chinese characters. I will right-click and I can translate that to English. Amazing. Amazing. That's amazing. Now, how about translating English to other foreign languages? We can do that as well. We will click on this icon and we will add a language. Let's say we will add Japanese because I'm also a Japanese language teacher in our school. So I'll click there, okay. Now let me try. Let's have your thank you. I'll highlight that. And then I'll right click and I'll translate text into Japanese. See, there's now an additional option to have it converted to Japanese language from English and Japanese. I'll click Japanese and the same process. You'll have there the translation from English to Japanese. Very nice. This is wonderful. All right. The next extension is this icon for save to Google Drive. So let me now open this new tab. I already have here an image that I've searched for Google. And let's say I will save this image. Now, before, we will download and upload this to our Google Drive. But with that extension, it will make our job easier. So what will we do? We will right-click on this image. And we already have here the option to save it directly to our Google Drive without downloading and uploading it later. So when I click on this, I can just have that link to my Google Drive. Now, let's have ColorZilla. So the icon for ColorZilla is this one with the eyedropper. So when you click on that, 
we can have page color picker active. So meaning we can get any color from this web page and we can copy that and get its color code. Let's say I want this color, so allow me to click on this and it will be reflected here. So again, let's click on the colorzilla, then color picker, then the code is already here. We can copy this code and use that example in our Photoshop or even in our Microsoft offices. So that is coming from the colors that we have in our web page. We'll talk about this icon for Screencastify. Let's click on that. This is one of my personal favorites. Aside from PowerPoint presentation, I'm using this to record my screen. For free accounts, you can have a minimum or the limit, sorry. The limit will be for five minutes recording. So you can record your browser, your desktop, or even your webcam only. You can have it your microphone and you can click on record. So let me click on record, let's see. And I will click on the entire screen, then share. And you see this countdown meaning it starts recording after one. I'll click hide, then X. So meaning I can start recording this one. If I want to stop, I'll just click on the Google Chrome, then I'll stop sharing. And it will open a new tab that I have successfully, yes, record that part of my screen. Okay, that's Screencastify. Another extension similar to Screencastify is this icon for awesome screenshot and screen recorder. When I click on that, I do have here an option to record my desktop, this tab only, or camera only. I can even embed the camera if you click on this. That means you can see the camera right here, meaning facing you or the speaker right here. Now, let me try to embed the camera and we'll try to start recording. Let's click on that, start recording. That's why you see here my face right here. But I'm kind of shy, that's why I can see it being covered. And let me click on the entire screen and share. And it will start recording. There you go. Yeah, there's the countdown. I'll hide that and it will start recording. So if you're a teacher and you're using this extension, it will be a very powerful tool to you for you in creating your instructional, instructional videos. So while the students are looking at your screen, they can also see you giving the instructions. If you've noticed, we already have a lot of extensions added to this Google Chrome browser. Now, for us to have an ultimate tool for lightning fast enabling and disabling of all of these extensions in our Google Chrome, we will be using Extensity. When we click on that, we have here a lot of extensions that we have added to our Chrome, and we can simply click on that to disable for a little while, or we can click again to enable. See? We can have it organized in our extensity. For example, I just want to see my custom cursor. So I will click on the rest and screencastify. So I'll have it there. So we only see the two icons right here because the rest, we disabled it for a while. If we want to enable, we will just click again on Bitmoji, for example, and we see that being enabled here. So that means we can organize our extensions using this very nice tool or very nice extension, Extensity. There you have it. Those were the Google Chrome extensions must have for teachers for the year 2020. Hopefully you'll find this video useful in teaching your students in your virtual classrooms. See you in the next video.